to Halo Halo. I'm Kat Aniba with your daily dose of all things entertainment and lifestyle for Asian Pacific Americans and the show that aims to spotlight our very own talent. Joining me today is actress Rupa Jivaji who is producing a film titled In Search of America which tackles um, self-identity, women's education and gender equality. Teri kamzoriyan bhi tera hissa hai. Isiliye dilchasp tera qissa hai. کیا آپ کو نکاح قبول ہے قبول ہے مبارک ہو مبارک ہو مبارک مائی نیم از شاہین آئی کم فرام پاکستان مائی ہسبینڈ ورکس یئر اٹس ناٹ سیف آر یو بائی یو سیلف تو ذرا ہے کبھی بلند آسمانوں سا کبھی چھاؤں سا گہرا ہے نیور ٹرسٹ اے مین ادر دین یور ہسبینڈ ویلکم روپا تھینک یو فار ہیونگ می دس از سو ایکسائٹنگ اینڈ تھینک یو Yeah, this Thank is, this you is for being here. <laughs> Now, I mentioned you're an actress. Um, you started classically trained dancing when you were just, what was it, three years old? Yeah, it's, um, they don't do it anymore, but when I was growing up, they, yeah, I, I was three, three and a half, and they put me in dancing, classical uh, Indian dancing, which is Bharatanatyam. Mm -hmm. And so I studied dancing for about 17 years, I think. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, I can teach, but I just, too many things to do so yeah, yeah how did you venture into acting um i actually was an intern when i was 16 for one of the biggest production companies in india right. and they did uh, they were in advertising right. so they did commercials so i was like their in-house mm -hmm. talent so i would get to first audition for all the commercials nice. yes <laughs> i heard you were like one of the spokesmodels for the biggest coffee company in it's india. brew yeah brew brew, yeah. brew instant coffee yeah and then yeah. you just fell in love with acting from yeah. there <laughs> yeah. so i was like this is fun yeah. i could do this and so. then you moved to los angeles yes and uh, uh, started acting here yeah i came in for college and uh i've, I've been training since ever since but yeah, yeah. Uh, what has that experience been like you know from india to trying to make it here in Hollywood? Um, I think when I first came in was probably there are different in, in a way there are different industries in a way but I think now I think with all that is going on and it's such a global economy I think the the bridge is you know getting closer and closer the gap is getting closer and uh, actually a friend of mine made this wonderful film which is at the Toronto Film Festival so every everything is all global which is great so we have stories from all over the world which is which everybody can see so right yeah. i love that and speaking of stories from all over the world you produced in search of america or one of the producers of in search of america tell us a little bit more about that film um the film is it tells the story of a pakistani woman mm -hmm. and uh she is she comes to america in search of her husband mm -hmm. and uh who who is who's here to you know get a job and right. do you know have the american dream and uh she is lost and also in a way she has her uh, cultural values that is sort of handed down to her right. and so but this this girl is a free-spirited person so she in search of her husband she actually finds her emancipation and her identity in the process oh, wow <laughs> but um i saw the trailer so i don't know if i can say this on air but um her husband ends up marrying somebody else or having an affair with somebody else correct correct yes. <laughs> so it's basically stories of two parallel women and we always think um that the east or like india pakistan right. china africa have uh problems where there is equal inequality between women but it's also i think a universal problem right. so it's uh it's a story of two women and how they sort of struggle with the same thing um, right. in the process but in different ways right Correct. you touch upon um, women's education you were telling me earlier how um, people need to be educated and especially women right. <laughs> um it's also that the fact that they do not have education is also the fact that they are somehow raised to understand that it's not important. Mm -hmm. um, so our film hopefully will reach out to all the smaller cities, smaller villages in India and Pakistan where it's such a, a huge problem and hopefully we will let them know through our film that uh, you know education is important. So right. yeah. you said something like empowerment through education, right? right? right. How did you become a part of In Search of America? I know you star in it too. <laughs> right, yes, yes, I'm doing it all. Right. Um, I came in as an actor and uh, Danish 
is, is he's the, the director, Danish Renzu, has got a very collaborative sort of outlook towards everything. So he was always constantly asking for my feedback as a woman. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, you know, I'm very passionate about this topic. So right. I started to involve myself. And uh, so he was really happy that there was another woman's perspective and yes. woman's opinion. So he said, why don't you come on board as a producer? And I said, I would love to. I would love to be a part of it and see the journey and, and Hopefully we'll make a difference, and I think we will, but yeah. I know you guys are in post right now, but when do you think it'll be released? Um, we're, it's being edited in Mumbai, Bombay right now, and uh, yeah, we have an incredible, very, very talented editor, mm -hmm. uh, Deepa Bhatia, who, okay. uh, who also did a film called My Name is Khan. It's very talented, yeah. and it also touches some of the topics that we, we talk about in our right. film as well. Um, and uh, hopefully by November okay. first week. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> now, but you guys just recently threw together an event, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Tell me a little bit more about that and the response that you've been receiving. And it hasn't even been fully done yet. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Um, for me, what I've realized is um, this is sort of a women empowerment, and also because I'm a part of the producers. Um, uh, the, the, the collaboration that I've had from women, and I've seen that when we reached out to Women's Voices Now, right. and we just uh, got to hear that we were the finalists at the Roy Dean Grant uh, wow. for their uh, finals, and uh, the amount of support that we have received from women organizations and women, uh -huh. um, and everybody else, of right. course, right. but it's been so uh, heart it's, it's been wonderful and it's just I think if we reach out to to people and women I, I'm sure they will yeah. help out so we have women's voices now come in and uh, MPAC That's which awesome. is uh, the Muslim Public Affairs Council right. so they were a part of it and the Pakistan Consulate General was a part of it wow. so uh, so we've yeah. A lot of positive recognition yes. Yes. and support, which is great. Now, for more information, where can we go? Um, in Search of America, um, inshallah, the film com, And also, we have a Facebook page, In Search of America. And uh, yes. Thank you so much, yes. Rupa. It was a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This <laughs> thank is, you. This and congratulations on telling this story that needs to be told. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> for more information on In Search of America, you can check out any of the websites you see on your screen. Time for a quick break, but we have more entertainment and lifestyle news when we return.